Hello, welcome to Curator TV. My name is Dunja Ramandic and I'm the Associate Curator Project at the Art Gallery of WA. Today I'll be talking to you about our new project with West Farmers Arts, the Micro Galleries and Sky Galleries. We'll be talking to Helen Carroll, who will be introducing the West Farmers Collection, and our director, Stefano Carboni, who will be talking about the partnership. The premise for this project was large works in small spaces, which lends itself to possibilities outside the traditional exhibition space. Instead, it allows for more informal relationships and conversations to be established between the West Farmers works themselves and the works in the State Art Collection. We launched the new galleries with a conversation between Aboriginal and non-Aboriginal artists. Downstairs we've got Garden Gallery and upstairs is the Sky Gallery. The Garden Gallery is about the Australian landscape and the Sky Gallery is about the cultural stories and cultural relationships. In the Garden Gallery, the viewer is greeted by two monumental works, one by William Delafield Cook called The Haystack and the other one by Brooke Andrews Australia One. Greeted by these two works, the visitor is immediately thrown into an engagement with the Australian landscape. One is a historic, the other contemporary, both are imaginary. The two spaces are connected by a sound work by local sound artist May Sarasvati, who took inspiration from wetlands on which the gallery now stands. Historically, the Art Gallery of WA and West Farmers have had a really strong relationship. To tell us more about that, Here's our director, Stefano Carboni. West Farmers is uh, our principal sponsor and uh, it's been the principal sponsor for quite a long time. There's no way that any public institution can thrive without philanthropy and so we are particularly grateful of course to West Farmers because they are the best philanthropists for us and they contribute a great deal to the well-being of the institution will be exhibiting, will be displaying works of large scale in these small spaces. It's a nice way of looking at a small space with big works and nicely connected through a sound gallery as well so that you can walk upstairs between these two micro galleries. With West Farmers moving into new premises and larger works not being able to go on display, it was an opportunity for the Art Gallery of WA to display some of these large works on our premises. In preparation for the Micro Gallery's launch, I took the opportunity to speak to Helen Carroll from West Farmers Arts about their collection. Helen, can you tell us a little bit about how the collection started and how it developed over the decades? Yeah, sure. It's actually one of Australia's uh, longest running corporate collections. So the first work was bought back in 1977 and it grew over the years, over really three decades, into being a broadly representative collection of Australian art. It really is a fascinating collection. So can you tell us a little bit about how the relationship between West Farmers and Agua started and how long it goes back? Well, the relationship between West Farmers and the Art Gallery actually goes back to 1980. So it's one of the longest standing relationships that we've had as a company with the arts community here in Western Australia. That relationship has blossomed over the years. We've um, lent work frequently to the gallery. We've collaborated on a number of exhibitions, which has we been have, wonderful. Yeah. And that's been going on really since the early 90s. So it's been a long and fruitful relationship. And so how did this project come about? West Farmers is about to move premises into a totally new purpose-built space but we have a number of works which are very large pieces that have always graced our foyer and been really on public display and we wanted to be able to continue to make those works available for the public and some of that was going to be difficult in a new office environment where you've got all sorts of space considerations that you don't have within a museum. So it's quite unique, the West Farmers collection in that way, because you've got a policy not to have anything in storage, which means at all times you'll have the whole collection on display but also you haven't restricted yourself to the size of the works, which is also very interesting for a private and a corporate collection. We've never shied away from acquiring works of scale, but we've always said that in those circumstances, 
they have to be out, whether they're in our buildings or with museums. So we're very, very happy to be able to work with museums and galleries around Australia, but particularly with our own state gallery, because this is our base. Our base here is with this West Australian community and with our state institutions. So we have works that will continue to be on display in our offices and they'll be you know, complemented by the wonderful display that's going to be happening at, at the Art Gallery. Well, we look forward to having the works at Agua. Thanks, Terrific. Helen. Thanks, Dunya. This is a great opportunity to see large works in small spaces. The first display opens from May 2016 and runs until January 2017. Hope to see you there.